solution, as we've seen in Q. Okay. Uh, it might be worthwhile then to look at the other possibilities. What about, and if I, the mathematical uh, way of saying what about is to say consider. Okay. So you're telling your reader to consider to take a look at something. Okay. Consider. Let's look at the following set. How about I look at the set of all, I'll call this uh, A, of the set A, that consists of all x and q such that x squared is less than 2. Because this equation, x squared equals 2, if it's not true, then either for a given x, x squared is less than 2, or x squared is bigger than 2 by trichotomy, right? So let's just look at one of these things. That's all the numbers where the square is less than 2. What does that look like in this picture? Okay. Is it all the rationals? Is it all the rationals to the left? What about minus 100? Yeah, it's not not quite well. Actually, it, it'll go it'll go even a little farther, right? It'll go you know somewhere out here. But this is certainly a set that um, that is this set A. Okay. Oh, so it's not it's not it's actually not this interval, right? It's all the things inside, all the the red, it's all the uh, the, the the orange points inside, right? Okay. Okay, so if I take a look at this set, it has an interesting um, problem, okay? What's the problem? The problem is it, I mean, if I look at this and I look at um, the, the, the points to the right, the, the problem is there is nothing right here at the very edge, right? I wish that there were, but there isn't. With me? I wish that there was, okay? So this... Um, points to a, um, a, uh, a property that we want to uh, get at, okay? And so we'll, we'll give it a name, and then we'll explore uh, what it means for our construction. And it points to the idea that, uh, of what's called a least upper bound. Now, what do I mean by that? If you take a look at this number line, the fact that there isn't a point that's right at the very end is, uh, it's related to the, the idea that, okay, there's a bunch of points to the right, aren't there? There's just not one at the very end. All the points to the right have the property that what? Like if I look at the number 2.2, .2, how does it relate to all the numbers in A? It's bigger than all of them, okay? We have a name for that. We'll, we'll call 2.2 .2 an upper bound, okay? And uh, it's an upper bound if, if, if it's bigger than everything in the set. So is 3.1 an upper bound for this set? Yeah. Is 1.5 an upper bound? Yeah, if you maybe think about it a little bit, we'd have to show, show that. But we have an upper bound. And the, the idea we're trying to get at is, is there a least one? And the problem is, in Q, there may not be a least upper bound. OK, so let's, uh, let's write this down. So here's a definition. Let's suppose we, we have a, a set that's uh, ordered, and we take a look at a subset. So suppose I have an E that's a subset of S, which is ordered. S is the big set. E is a subset like that uh, set uh, we were considering. So if there is a number that has the property that anything in the set is less than that number, we'll call that number an upper bound. So if there exists, let's say, a, a, a number, I'll call it b, b, beta for b bound, okay? 
if there exists beta in S such that for all x in uh, E, uh, we have uh, x less than or equal to beta, then we'll call um, uh, beta an upper bound. Call it an upper bound for E. And we'll say uh, E is bounded. Uh, if, if it's unclear what you mean by bounded, we'll say bounded above. Okay. Usually, um, it, it, you want it to be both bounded above and bounded below to be bounded. So maybe I'll just say I'll just make sure we're explicit, and we'll say it's bounded above. Okay. Okay. Um, good. Now there's also the corresponding notion of a lower bound. So take a guess as to what a lower bound might be. How would I change this statement? Yeah, just replace less than or equal to by greater than or equal to, uh, and you get the definition for lower bound. So I'm just going to mention that here, uh, the idea of a lower bound. Um, replace. Um, so to define a lower bound, replace uh, less than or equal to by greater than or equal to. Okay, parenthetical comment. You could talk about being bounded below. OK, everybody happy with that? Now, what I want you to notice here in this definition is it's saying what we just said, but a little more formally, right? So uh, you, you're, what we're saying is, is, is there a number that's bigger than everything? So to say uh, that formally, we say, well, if there is a number that is bigger than everything, then it's an upper bound. OK, uh, I want to point out, because this notation comes up a lot, uh, this, these particular phrases come up a lot, is that we have a shorthand for these phrases. Many of you know what the shorthand is. What's a shorthand for there exists? It's a backwards E, and the for all, it's an upside down A. Okay. These shorthands are appropriate for, for scrap work or board work. They're not appropriate for writing out mathematics formally. Okay, so um, you should avoid it when you're doing it your homework. But it, it's okay to do it if you're just trying to show a friend something. Okay, and hopefully we're friends, right? So we'll just I can just I can use these. Okay, uh, on the board. But if I were writing this out on the solution set, I wouldn't do I wouldn't use these these phrases. Okay, good. We have a notion of an upper bound. Uh, and so let's maybe uh, just do a few examples here. So we've uh, already said that for this example. Uh, a, uh, okay, so what did we say? We said 2 is an upper bound for the set A that we just defined earlier. Okay. Now, um, how do we know, actually, 2 is an upper bound for A? In fact, it, it was a little, maybe a little less clear whether 3 halves is an upper bound for A. So you might ask yourself, why? Well, if it were not an upper bound, proof by contradiction, if not, I mean, what's the property to be in A? Everything in A is square less than 2. So what does it mean for 3 halves to be an upper bound? Well, 3 halves squared is bigger than uh, 2. But why does that mean that, uh, that uh, it's an upper bound for everything whose square is less than 2? Why, why would that be? Um, why would that be the case? Um, 